Today we're going to talk about pine trees, pine cones, and pine needles. Just kidding, we're going to be talking about gin, but what's the difference? <laughs> Nasty Skull Cat Podcast. How you guys doing today? Today we're gonna to be talking about gin. Now this might be something that we don't really need to talk too much about because depending on the bar you're at, probably one of the least ordered things you're gonna have there. Not to say nobody orders it, not to say that it's even a terrible thing to drink, but I'd say it's probably the least popular of the other liquors, right? So let's give you a breakdown, let's give you a little bit of information and here we go. Gin originated in the Middle Ages, so it actually has a real strong tie with the Netherlands and primarily England, you know, especially in the London area. So, so it's actually made with different malts and grain, but it is flavored with juniper berries. That's what gives it that very, you know, pine tree, piney, pine salt taste, right? <laughs> so juniper berries is primarily what's responsible for that taste, right? Now, not all gins are, you know, have that very strong pine taste. There are a few gins out there, like different types within the gin category, but really I'm just gonna break it down pretty easy for you so you don't need to sit there and know every single type of gin, right? The main ones though that you're gonna see a lot are London dry gins, right? This is your Tanquerays, this is your Beef Eaters, your Bombay Sapphires, right? These are dry gins, all right? There's no sugar added in them, so they work very well for martinis where you just want drin, you know, gin straight up, or you just don't want that sweetness, right? You really want that pine bite from the juniper berries, right? Another two is Plymouth Gin and Old Tom Gin, which, funny enough, the Old Tom Gin is what you would use in a Tom Collins, hence Old Tom, right? Those are a little bit sweeter than the London Dry, and those are real good for Tom Collins, using him for Negronis, right? Um, you're gonna use that kind of gin in there because it's gonna give it a little bit more of a flavor besides just that juniper berry bite, all right? And then you have New Wave gins, which are examples like Hendrix, right? Kinda has a little bit of a cucumber taste to it. So these New Wave or New American, you know, type gins, these basically, they take other botanicals um, such as lemon peel and flowers and stuff like that that, again, kind of doesn't hide the juniper berry flavor, but it just gives it, you know, a different taste profile that some people prefer other than that real pine bite, right? So as I mentioned, like martinis, very big using gin, Negronis, right? That's primarily what you're gonna throw with gin. Gin and tonics, right? Very, very popular drink. Gin and tonics, gin and soda sometimes, but mainly gin and tonic because, especially with a dry tonic like a Tanqueray, use a Tanqueray, use a tonic, which is very sweet, put it together with a lime, pretty, pretty good. So again, gin might not be as popular as maybe it was. In the 18th century, there was this huge, crazy gin craze in London, right? Where they ended up actually having to put a a lot of laws in effect because everybody was going crazy and just drinking all day. So there's the start of your day drinkers, right? <laughs> Thank you, London. But, you know, other than that, gin, it's, you know, it's it's not bad. It's, it's not something you're gonna really drink on the rocks or neat. It's gonna usually be mixed with something. There are martinis that use it. Like I said, Negroni is very popular that you use with gin. But again, it's probably the least likely thing you're going to have ordered at your bar. But hey, there's gin drinkers out there that love it, and that's awesome, you know what? If they want it, give it to them, it's all good. Gin with some grapefruit juice is not bad. It's pretty good, it's almost like a Paloma, except with gin, it's not bad. Check it out, try it with a lime, squirt a little bit of lime in there, it's not bad, try it. Again, not too much to talk about it. Um, I'd say it's probably the least popular of all the other alcohols. Again, not that it's terrible, not that it's bad, it's just probably not what you're gonna have ordered as much, so. Again, Aaron Wazowski Skullcat Podcast. Check out my other videos. I'm going to keep this little series going, give you all the liquors, give you all the information on them. And if you have any questions about it, please 
put in the comments below. Let me know. Let me know what's going on. I'll try to ask some questions. I'll try to go maybe into more detail if you'd like. But again, this is just a very brief overlay. Subscribe to the channel. Until I see you next time, have a good night.